Take two. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Megan with Gypsy's Yarn Yak. Um, the reason I'm saying take two is because I had just filmed about 20 minutes and my camera froze. And then it kicked me out so the app had stopped. And then after it said the app had stopped, I went to go see if the film was still on there so I could either like try and splice it together, which I don't know how to do, so you know it would have been a two-part video. Um, and it wouldn't let me do it. It's not showing that it was there at all. It's like I filmed for 20 minutes and nothing happened. So we're going to start this fun, fun, fun thing over again. Um, I think I liked the way I was doing it. So I think that I will continue to do it that way. Um, and so the way I started this video, because you know this is my what's on my hook, off my hook, and waiting to jump on my hook. So I'm going to show you what I have whip-wise, which I have a, a couple because I haven't been able to record, which if you watched my um, unboxing earlier, you know that. Um, Sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot because I'm trying to write a note down while I'm talking. So I will go through that first with my whips, and then I have a whip slash finished object. So it's a blanket, and so it's not completed yet, but I do have some finished parts of the blanket. So I'll show you that. Then I'll go into my finished objects, and then we will talk about what I'm planning to do because I'm already getting ready to gear up for Halloween. So let's grab the whip bag. So I have several whips going on right now. Um, the first one I have, I'm using my um, remainder of my Mint Refresher Cotton Karen Cake that I did my button-down tank top, which I finally have finished and I'm wearing, and I will show you that when I show you my finished work. And I am doing Bag o Day, Crystal Bag o Day Crochets um, tank top with the remainder of what I have. I just love these colors. So it works up like a tube, and I will link the tutorial down below because it is a free tutorial on her page. If you don't know who she is, please go check her out. She's amazing. Um, and I have like this much and a whole cake left of this yarn, so I think I can make that and maybe a couple more tops if I see something else I like. Um, and I'm keeping that in my Happily Hooked Magazine Freebie, which is my yarn bag. It's the only yarn bag I have that's totally meant for yarn. Um, and I'm keeping that in there along with this pattern that I'm doing that is a free pattern, because most of the patterns I have are free. Just saying. Um, and it is from Pattern Paradise. And I will um, put their website down below so you can go check it out. But the dress that I am doing is called the Butterfly Kisses Dress. And they have it here where it's with a variegated yarn or um, like a self-striping yarn. But I am doing a solid color and then a variegated for the skirt. So I am doing it in this, oh Lord, I this up here, style right there. And the color I am, was that long enough for you guys to see it? Isn't that pretty? And then there's a pattern for the butterfly as well so that's um, behind this so I'll do that after but the color I am doing is I'm using the just yarn that you can get at the Dollar Tree sometimes in the color haze this purple and then I'm doing the skirt and plum pudding so as much as I've got right now is I've only got a couple of rows so it's doing the top part right here for the dress so that is on my whip and I have a lot of whips right now because there's something I wanted to work on and I just like and it's the whip slash finished object that I just, I want to bang it out. It's absolutely awesome. I'm loving how it's coming up and I want to finish it, but I ran out of yarn. So I tried doing all these other projects for, I was like, I don't know why I didn't think of Amazon at first to get more of the orange color that I need, but I was looking at Hirschner's and they're sold out. I was looking at your inspirations and they're sold out. And I'm just like, plus the, the shipping, I'm like, ah, and I'm a prime member with Amazon. So I didn't even think about it. And then I was like, oh my God. My goodness. <laughs> I almost said something. Um, and I ordered it on there. So it should be coming tomorrow, which I'll get into more details when I get to that project. So there's that whip. Then I have the Charlemagne Poncho that is a tutorial that Courtney at Fiber Fox Studios said, Courtney, I was thinking Bag o Day, so I'm making sure I said Courtney and not Crystal. Sorry, guys. It's one of those days. Um, so, hey, girl, hey, because Courtney does watch my videos. Love her. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm doing the Charlotte Mae Poncho, and this, like, I had all my finished objects since I couldn't film on top of a box of yarn in my room, and I wasn't even thinking about it, and um, I was, like, looking for yarn to do this poncho, because I was like, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's a real easy pattern to work up. Here's what I've got done so far. It's two panels, and then she shows you the constructions. It's all one video, and one thing I love about Courtney, she's very thorough, so her videos are usually more than one part. But this is a one-part video, and I'm just like, oh, cool, awesome. So I knew I could whip this up. So I am using um, Mandela 
Sparkle in the color Draco. I have three cakes of it, so I was like, yeah, I have enough yarn. And this is, oh, sorry, I'm holding it upside down. What I have done so far. I just started it this morning, so there's not very much done. But it's like X's and O's. It's like hugs and kisses. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the um, Victorian Stitch Sampler Blanket I did for Jaden Stitches that I, sent, that I am sending to my grandparents in Ireland. Um, I made one for each of my grandmothers. And it, she has an X's and O's stitch. It's not, exa it's not nowhere near exactly the same, but the X's make me think about it. See, isn't that pretty? And I love the color. A little bit of sparkle for the summer. I think it's beautiful. Um, I'm doing the 1X size, and my mom keeps telling me, because that seemed a little long. Let me hold it out again so you can see what I mean. Because this is supposed to be my front panel. And it's a poncho. I get that. It might be a little big. I'm not sure. I, I'll find out when I finish doing all the construction and everything like that. But my, my mom keeps telling me that... I think I'm bigger than I am, and I'm like, I feel like a 1X. I'm a rocket. <laughs> so I keep making the 1X sizes, um, which is funny, because the thumbnail that you saw in my video, that's one of my finished objects. That was the um, simple summer poncho from Crystal Bag. I've been on a Bago Day kick. Everything I have done has in some way been with, like, Bago Day, or I've looked at her for inspiration. So I was a little bit on a kick with her, as you'll see with some of my finished objects. Um... But I gave that to a girl from mine whose birthday's in August and she loves green. And I was making the extra large size. I used the same hook, the same um, yarn weight. But I think I'm just, I just have a picture in my head that I'm bigger. I probably could have gone with the large, to be honest. And I made the extra, or the 1X extra large, and it came out huge. It, it just too big for me. So it was perfect um, for my girlfriend as soon as I saw the first panel done I'm like okay I know exactly what I'm making this for so I finished making it instead of um frogging it I went ahead and I made it for her because she loves green and that's my girl Zenobia hey Vo, how you doing Vo? she knows who she is she's watching my videos now because I told her she had to <laughs> that's how I'm gonna get my numbers up anyway so there's that the Charlemagne I'll link the, everything I am talking about I'm trying to make notes as I talk about it so that I can link them all down below if I forget anything Please comment down below uh, if there's something you wanted a referral to and I forget about it. Um, I did that in one of my videos in the past and someone did call, like, ask me about it and I was able to get it to them and then, you know, repost it into the description box. So the next whip I have um, is the Divine Hat. Now the Divine Hat's been going around for a while, I guess. But I didn't really think about the Divine Hat until I was watching... Um, Ella and No Catchy Names, What You Working On Wednesday, that ended up being on a Thursday. <laughs> if that makes sense, it was last Thursday. Um, so I went ahead and I, and actually the three patterns she talked about um, that I'm doing is the Divine Hat, the Alpine Table Runner, because my mom wants that done for her living room. She has a table that's under a mirror. My mom's very, like, posh decorator in her house, so she wants me to do it in red. And I'm thinking, I was thinking of a red cotton, but then I think because there's nothing hot near it, it's just family pictures that you put on, that I'm going to be using um, Red Heart with Love Metallic in red because it's got that sparkle in it, and she likes that. She likes a little bit of glitz. <laughs> anyway, that was a sidetrack, but I'm going to be doing that. I just got to get that yarn. Um, and then the Divine Hat here, and then the Whip Slash finished object is also something that she was talking about on her video, and I will link that down below. But here's the Divine Hat. It's free pattern on Ravelry. And my printer wanted to print black and white. And I started it in that polo stripe that I had left over from the mermaid backpack I made. And this is the start of it. Isn't that pretty? But I'm not sure if I'm reading the pattern right. I think I'm reading the pattern right. And it's coming out pretty. It's got the little, like, ridges you can see. Like, see, it's got tons of texture. But on that hat, it looks like it's going kind of like to the side. But I only have this first part done. Maybe it goes more to the side as I work. Um, so I'm going to keep working on this and we'll see what happens. And if not, I think it's still pretty hot. So <laughs> that is in my, I wish I had another one of these to send to Courtney at Fiber Fox Studios. I'm not doing the Hey Girl, hey. yes I am. Hey Girl, hey! <laughs> Every time I say Fiber Fox Studios, I got to do it. But this is my Fox bag. And this is how old it is. See that? It's like cracked. But if I had another one, I would send it to Courtney because I think she would be able to rock that as a project bag or a grocery bag or whatever. And it's Fiber Fox Studios. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, it works. So that is that project. And it's, oh, almost forgot to put the pattern back in there. I'm starting to do that. Because I have a bag of UFOs. And I finished two of them out of there. Because I knew exactly what the pattern was. Um, but they are from like a uh, 
seven months ago, eight months ago that I started them. Um, and they got put in this bag with the blanket. If you remember, I did that, uh, purple star blanket for my girlfriend, um, Christina for her birthday, even though her birthday was a few months ago. Um, she wanted those purples. I had to wait to get those purples and I finished it, but I had started the blanket in purple ombres and it was a different stitch. It was like the crashing waves blanket or something like that. I can't remember the name, but that's how long ago it was. I could not remember the name, but I didn't leave the hook in there. I didn't leave the pattern in there and that that just so now patterns go in the bag that's a long way of saying that I learned my lesson um but when I rolled up the yarn I did finish them so you'll see them in my finished objects so I'll talk more about that when I get there oh lord sorry and then my next whip is actually another pattern by Courtney and Fiber Fox Studios hey girl hey see I can't stop it it just it comes naturally um and it is the Clarabelle top woman's top let me make sure I'm holding this up the right way I am okay so this is worked in panels, and this is the shoulder panel. I could not find my four, my G6, my four millimeter hook for the life of me. So I was like, okay, I'll use a boy 4.25. Y'all see this? That is how long my shoulder panel is. Now, you see my shoulders? See the panel? So I'm not quite sure if this is gonna work out to be for me or if I'm gonna end up using it for, uh, to go into my shop, which will be coming in the next month or so because I have plenty of stuff that I can post pictures on and then I'll be able to open the shop in the next month or two, okay? And the yarn I'm using for that is Soho Fancy That. I got a 10 pack for like $14.90 on Hirschner's, so I have enough yarn to do it, for sure. So and it's lightweight three, 100% acrylic, machine wash, lay flat to dry, and I've got the hook in here. Why is this hook in here? Oh, this fell out of this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Sidetracked. Um, I have my boy hooks all in here. So I threw this in here with 4.25, but I think, because I crochet sometimes tight, depending on my mood, but most times I crochet loose to loose crochet. <laughs> That's why I think things get a little bigger. I'm gonna have to start doing things like a size smaller, and I bet you they'll come out thin. We're going to try that out with one of the things that's going to jump on my hook, which I will show you in a moment. So to segue into my finished objects, I'm going to show you my whip slash finished object. Now, this is, again, off of Ella's uh, What You Work On Wednesday that happened on a Thursday um, <laughs> video, and I will link that down below. And it is a free pattern on your inspirations. It is called the Pumpkin Face Throw. And my printer printed this one out black and white. See my highlighter over here so you know where I'm at. Um, let me see if I can get it. Here's a closer picture. It's black and white. Again, so you can't really tell. Let's see. You can kind of tell what those are. Okay. And then it gives you a... You'll be able to tell what I did because I marked it off with my pink highlighter what I finished. This is the assembly. Okay. So I ran out of yarn, which is the pumpkin color. Right here. See? There's all the yarn. And there's my Chicago Bears. Duh Bears! That's my team. I don't care. I'm a diehard bleed orange and navy. And no, if you see me on the street wearing orange and navy and you ask me if I'm a Bronco fan, I might have to throw a stitch marker at you. Just saying. Might. <laughs> but this tells me what hook I'm using. And I had her uh, make these for me special. Because if I do lose my hook... Because, you know, I only have so many eyes. I got to, like, and I start other projects. You see how many whips I've got going on right now. I have to, you know, keep them together. But this will tell me what hook I'm using. And because I want to finish this. And that's why I have so many whips. I wanted to finish this blanket. And when I ran out of yarn, I was just like, Sassafras! Yeah, because that's, uh, being 100% Irish, Sassafras is the uh, curse word that I went to. <laughs> so I put it away, and I found all my other yarn that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a mainstay instead of Red Heart for the spring green. This is just called um, green, but that looks like spring green to me. And that Halloween? Yeah. And I have it on stash. I'm trying to go through all my stash before I buy more yarn. Yes, I know I did an unboxing this morning for everyone going, but girl, didn't you just? Yes. But I ordered that stuff like over a month ago, and it just came. So, you know, I, I'm trying to be good. So, and I've got the amethyst it recalls for, for the um, striped squares, because there are striped squares in it. And I um, am doing, instead of the heathered gray, I am doing red heart with love metallic, because you know me, I like a little bit of sparkle, for the gray. And I think that this, 
works. Let me pull up an orange here. Works. I think that'll be pretty together for the striped squares. So I've got all my yarn in my beautiful, huge yarn bag that I made myself. It's a pattern from Jada and Stitches. It's called my big market bag. No, it's the market bag, but it's a big, beautiful bag or something like that. So I made that myself, just two um, balls of yarn held together. Um, and I made it a long time ago. No, I haven't even crocheting that long, and I'm making it sound like, you know, 10 years ago. Um, I probably did that in January. February. No, January. January is when I made that. So it's holding my bag, and then, you know, I was talking about I couldn't find my stitch markers earlier. Maybe I, I thought it was, might have been in the video earlier that it just stopped recording. Um, but I keep all my stuff in my lovely... Ella at No Catchy Names stitch marker bag. Isn't that gorgeous? And I had asked her if she could make me a project bag on my Etsy uh, account, but I can't get into that account. So the next time she does a new bags in the shop, I'm gonna say, hey, um, this might sound really weird, but I asked you about the teapot, you know, Alice and the tea party. Could you make that and see what she says? It's, get, it's getting a little dirty, but I have a child who's seven and he likes to play in dirt. And I totally think that's awesome, play in dirt. You know, it's not going to hurt you. God made the dirt and dirt don't hurt. You know, we grew up like that. I'll let my kid drink from a hose. I know a lot of people just went, oh, but come on. It's water, people, and it's our hose. <laughs> so I keep that in there, and again, I'm going to link Ella's um, page down below. So that was my whip part of it. Now, what I did manage to finish is I've had, I found, again, in that yarn pile under all my whips, I found some black yarn. So I was able to do the border and the face of three of the pumpkin squares. See, you can see which ones I did with the pink X's on it. So, and I like that because when I get my orange yarn tomorrow, fingers crossed, um, and I got three balls for like $14 on Amazon and free shipping. Hey, you know that was good. Um, I'll be able to finish this and hopefully have it done for my next video. But this is the first square I finished. Oh no, he kind of looks like the Kool-Aid man, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have fun with this. But I finished. Here's one square. That's the first pumpkin face. Now, we all have a gap in my family and our teeth. Great for spitting water at, especially when you're a tomboy. <laughs> I haven't done that in a minute, but I am teaching my son how to do it because it's a pretty cool trick. So I love this square. It makes me think of us. Ah, this is a pumpkin face, too. And this is a really easy... Simple pattern. Like, I made the squares. After I made the first orange square, I made the second one without looking at the pattern. It was that in your head. It, it's super simple to do. So if you're looking for, if you want to start decorating your house for the holidays, and my son's born in October, so I love Halloween. I've always loved Halloween. In fact, when I was giving birth to my son, after four days of labor, yeah, four days, um, everyone kept saying, oh, well, you're not due till November. You're not due till November. And I'd been in the hospital for two weeks. And I'm like, Kid is not going to make me be in the hospital for Halloween. He's not doing it. And he came out, you know, two weeks before Halloween. I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Four days of labor, but he came out. So, you know, I like to decorate for Halloween. So this was perfect. And I owe this all to Ella at No Catchy Name. She just inspired me. So definitely going to link that up. And this is the third face. He is such a grump. Super grump. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking behind my mask. Okay, so that's the three finished objects that go part of that whip, which will segue me in to my finished objects. Now all of this, sorry, I'm going to pack up while I'm rambling here so I can get my finished objects out. Um, I have several, I felt like I did more, but I started a lot more, yeah, like a lot more um, whips than finished objects probably because I got really bummed out that I couldn't finish this pumpkin throw because it was rocking. I was like, it was, I was going by fast and I ran out of yarn and I just went, oh, and then I didn't want to start anything. I was I was bummed. And then I started a bunch of things that I didn't need to start because now I don't want to do them until I finish this pumpkin throw. So I'm kind of thrown off right there. So let's see. That's is that gonna hold? I'm trying to make sure it doesn't splatter all over my kitchen floor. Um, now I will grab, and you will see what I mean by bag o' day kick. Uh, give me one quick second. I am going to grab my finished objects, which are kind of like in the corner right here. And we're back. <laughs> So I'm going to go over the um, bag of, no, what am I going to do? I'm going to go over the UFOs first. Okay. So this is a pattern that you get on the Mandela Sparkle that is just 
V-stitch, right? And I made this with Pixie Bloom from Loops and Threads. And what I did is I made it into an infinity scarf and then I twisted it. So it goes like that. Now what I also did, and which I had mentioned in one of my previous videos, is I was going to do a fingerless glove. I did the fingerless gloves. I filmed the fingerless gloves. I uploaded the first video of the fingerless gloves and my phone died. I couldn't record anything, couldn't do anything, and I was just like, ah. So if anybody really, really, really wants a pattern, I'll release that first video and then I will make another video about the construction. But these are the gloves I made. And they don't have a left or right, you can put them on however you want, and they're just the V-stitch, just like that. And it's more of a measurement, it's not a stitch count. Um, in fact, it was, I can tell you a little bit about it, because, you know, see, pretty, pretty, like, pretty. So, that's a set. Um, it was, all I did was I chained 35, and then, I should have brought my pattern with me. I wrote down the actual pattern, because I do things where I kind of, like, play with it. And then I never write it down, and then my mom's like, oh, well, you should write that down in case da 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 And since I was going to be doing this granny square tutorial, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll do. See, here's the same thing. It's got the little ribbing right here. And what I like about these gloves is it's I start out with single crochet. And I end with two rows of single crochet, so you have an even line to sew them to. So you can do them the long ways like this, or, because it's all measurement in your hand, you can fold them over so that you have the row with single crochet here so it's straight and the row with single crochet here just however you want to do that but if you guys really want to see this I have the first part of the video already uploaded but I couldn't film anymore um, I will do a second part to the video I'll release the first and I will do a second part because um, I do have some more of this yarn uh, maybe I should do it in not so bright yarn <laughs> um, but yeah so those are finished objects so I've got gloves and a scarf now this right here I have one of these in that beautiful green it's a uh, frosty green fleck from red heart and it's my butterfly cowl now as soon as i say butterfly you should know i'm talking about courtney at fiber fox studios hey girl hey see i can't stop it just comes out <laughs> uh, and i made it in this beautiful green and then i made my butterfly poncho and then she i asked her for a shawl and she did a shawl and i was like oh my god so i have it in the shawl too um but i wanted to do it in kind of a variegated see how it turned out so this is the pattern if you can see it See how they look like butterflies? I kept trying to look through. Yeah, you can see the butterflies. And this is a cowl. And I didn't do it as big as my original cowl, which I did in Red Heart with Love Metallic Fuchsia. Um, and that is on my Instagram. You should be able to find it pretty easy. But I love this cowl. See, isn't that, like, pretty? But with the variegated, you can't really see the butterflies unless you, like, come up into my personal space. But see, isn't that beautiful? I love that. I think that's gorgeous. I'm like looking over here so I can see it when I should be looking over here so you can see me. But we're looking at the pattern here. See? Isn't that beautiful? And it's a super, super easy pattern. If you have not done this, check it out. So those were the two UFOs that became finished objects because of that bag that I told you that I found with the yarn. Um, then I did. So that's those two. I have a bag. Pardon me, moi. S'il vous plaît. That's my little bit of high school French, even though I was like an AP IB French. You don't have, you don't use it, you lose it, straight up. So I'll put this in my finished object bag until it can go into the tub I have waiting. Um, I did, remember, if you remember, I did the Granny Square baby blankets. I had some of that yarn left over, and I told you I'm trying to go through my stash. So I did Jada and Stitch's Circular Sunburst baby blanket. It is a free pattern on her blog, and it's a free tutorial on her channel, which I will link down below. But I use that same yarn. And look, isn't that pretty? I think that is so happy and festive. And let me get closer so you can see. It. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's beautiful. So that is my other baby blanket I have finished, and that took me no time at all. Probably because I used um, what I had left, and they were pretty substantial amount of yarn I had left in both. But the green ran out, and I'm making a giant burnout blanket ball out of leftover yarn I have. If it's not enough to do something with, I put it into this ball, and I'm just going to make something crazy out of it. Maybe I'll make this just something crazy out of it. Isn't that pretty? I love this. And it's so soft and squishy. I love this yarn for a baby because it's squishy. It's super squish. But there's that. And again, it is a free printable PDF pattern on her blog. And it is a free tutorial on her YouTube. I will link that down below. So there's that blanket. Oh, drop somebody. 
Um, and then I was just, and I can't remember whose pattern this is, I will link it down below, but I had some of these, I had this color, I had this color, and I had this color. And I was like, what am I going to do with that? That's not enough to do anything. I was like, maybe a baby blanket. I'm like, there's no way, there's not enough yarn. So I ended up doing a small, this could be a tail runner, but it's going to go right outside of my bedroom door because I love those colors. And it was beautiful. So I made a little rug. Never made a rug before. In fact, that's why I started crocheting. If you remember in one of my videos, I talked about how I'd made all this t-shirt yarn out of my son's clothes because he grows out of them so quick. And I took him on a cruise ship and I ran out of yarn doing it off of Aaron um, Holstrom's, I think is how you pronounce her last name. Um, rag rugs. And I will link that down below. Actually, let me write that down because I'll forget because I've been talking for 25, almost 26 minutes. Aaron rag rugs. I'll, I'll just um, link her YouTube page. So anyway, isn't that pretty? And I will link this rug if I can remember where the tutorial's at. But it is a free tutorial. And it's just, and if you type in oval rug, it'll pop up. But the colors um, they used was oatmeal, um, ZZ Twist, and Buttercup, and then like a dark, like a denim. So you'll be able to see it. If I can't find it, you'll be able to find it, no problem. So I made that. I wish I had more yarn to make it bigger, because then it could have been an entryway, because me and my son, our side of the house has an entryway to it. Um, this would have been perfect on. But I think that's pretty. And I like the little pop of bright colors. So there's that done. And then now, okay, this is how I'm going to lead into my bag of day because I have three of the items I have here are bag of day, and then that will lead me on to what's waiting to jump on my hook because I did get my premiere yarn I was talking about this morning in my unboxing video. So, oh, let me show this guy first. My son's watching Harry Potter in the background, and if you remember, he was waiting to watch the second one with me earlier. We're now watching the third. And mommy made doo, 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 doo. Dobby! Ah, look at his face! Isn't he adorable? If you remember, uh, I think it was one of my first unboxings. I got that Harry Potter um, kit from Amazon. And Dobby is my first, he's my very first completed Amigurumi. He's not perfect, but he's mine. And he's perfect enough that I have, I have to make, I have to find out what exactly kind of yarn this is so I can make three more. Sorry, I got like cotton mouth going on. Um, because my dad wants to take this one and put a black string in the back and hang it from his dashboard. My mom wants this to sit on her desk. My son wants him to ride the dragon. He wants me to make him out of that same book. And my girlfriend, Sandy, hey, watermelon, who is sending me an amigurumi, uh, cactus kit because she lives out in Arizona. How did it, oh, shnikey out there. <laughs> Ooh, almost caught myself. And I'm going to send her one hugging the cactus back as a thank you. So I have to make a couple more of these, but isn't he, he was hard, but not hard. I, I don't know how to explain it. It was hard because I'd never done it before. Like, I'm not showing you all this. He's a butt. Ah! I love this thing. I, I'm stoked that I was able to make this in his little eyeballs. <laughs> I'm really super proud of him, and he's adorable. And where he hangs out, let me just show you, because I don't have enough for everybody yet. So Dobby, the house elf, hangs up here with all our cooking books and the wine glasses. So, he's a finished object. Now, the next finished object I'm going to show you before I lead into my bag of day crochet kick uh, is from Nadia at Yarn Utopia, and I will link her page down below. And this is um, a cocoon cardigan. Now, I love classic movies, and if you guys have seen Singing in the Rain, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, especially because I was looking for a vintage hat to do with it, which I found the style I wanted to go with off of bag of day crochet. So I will show you the card again, and it's hot, so I don't, don't expect this to be on very long. But it makes me think that the theater, the theater, there's something about the theater. If you've seen Singing in the Rain, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that just kind of, oh, kind of thing when you're at the theater. I, I'll do it right now, as soon as I can pop this puppy on. So it, this was, I made this in, and I'm using, I used, uh, if you remember my unboxing where I got my um, buff, Yarn Red Heart, one I got from the, uh, da, 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 what is it? My mystery bags from Hershner's, right? Okay. So I'm gonna have to take my hair down so I can wear the hat. Do not be laughing at the hair. Actually, no, you can laugh at the hair. I'm not even worried about it right now. It's too hot. It's going right back up as soon as I finish this. So this is the cocoon cardigan. I'm back up here. See? The theater. You have to be dramatic when you wear this thing. Isn't it beautiful? And I use. <laughs> my son knows. So the hat I used is a tutorial from Bag of Day Crochet, and I'll link that down below. And it's this one. And this is actually from an old necklace of my mom's that I use. It's a little heavy, so it kind of pulled this out a little bit, but it's not, it's, I needed something 
to bring in that 20s classic style and gorgeous look. And I used Karen. Okay, so I used the Red Heart buff to do the main part. Um, and I used the Karen one pound in deep violet because that's what I had laying around and that's what worked. So I'm going to put the hat on. So I can get this straight out. Look at that. It pulled it out just a little bit because it's how heavy that is. But tell me this isn't 1920s Gatsby glitz. Like, check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this hat. This hat, and I'm not a hat person except for, you know, my teal and black hat that's like kind of like a little, got the little rim I did right here. But again, this is deep violet, pure one pound, and this is that buff beige. And then this is just a necklace of my mom's that um, I took apart because it was in her throwaway pile. So I just took it apart to get this little bit of glitz. And this right here is what makes it 20 style for me because it was all about that bling bling, baby. You know, it's not that um, you ain't got a thing if you ain't got that swing. It's you ain't got a thing if you ain't got that bling. So that's that. And I think it's, oh, God, I'm dying here right now. But isn't that gorgeous? It's, it's just, you know, I'm like, oh, very dramatic wearing it. Like this is, I want to make another one in some lighter weight yarn. Oh, God, does that feel good taking that off? <laughs> It's super hot right now, um, and I will link those tutorials down below, like everything else. And I'm gonna put my hair back up because it's it's super hot, y'all. Um, but it's it's got that 1920s kind of opera, going to the opera, the theater kind of feel to it. So I want to do it in some literally, maybe some fingering weight yarn. Not sure. Oh, thank God, that felt oh, so much better. Okay, so leading into that, I finished that, and that has bag of day. If you remember my last web video, I was telling you I was waiting for anthracite to come in, and I got it on Amazon. I made her pocket shawl. So I didn't have enough yarn to make all the fringe, but I think it's okay. I don't think it really needs the fringe. I, the fringe is beautiful, but I don't, I don't necessarily need it. But here it is completed. And I'm modeling all this stuff because, you know, see? Little pocket. Hey! Hopefully you can see it, because I don't know how, it's on my phone, I gotta walk that far back for you guys to see what I'm doing. But I will take it off and show it to you a little closer. So there's a stitch, and it's worked as long, one long piece, oops, do it the right way. It's worked as one long piece, and this is the end part, it's a single crochet, and after you do some front post treble crochets for like five rows, and it's free tutorial on her channel, guys go check it out, and then you just make the pockets and sew them on. Super simple, super easy. She has all this fringe on hers, and, and you have holes for the fringe, but I actually kind of like that as a border. I think that's pretty. So I finished that. Yay! Feeling accomplished. And then I also finished her summer scarf, and I did mine in Red Heart with Love Metallic, and the white, and the lime color. You know, because I love green. I love green. I do. So let me put this on. And I did a little bit of fringe. I didn't do the little bejeweling that she did in the very center or the fringe she did in the center. Um, however, I did do... Sorry, I'm fixing up my shirt in the back. I did do a little fringe on the sides in the green and white. I wish they had an orange sparkle because this would be perfect for St. Patty's Day. Like, straight up, 100% Irish. I'd rock this all day long. So there's this scarf. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, oh, I love this. I think this is absolutely phenomenally beautiful. And it is super 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 duper easy <laughs> so it's like um a v scarf so you've got the center v here and it's a four row repeat i believe and then it's just you do it to length and then you add a little fringe if you want now hers had lots of fringe um i was running out of yarn <laughs> um so i didn't do as much fringe and then she had this beautiful little like jewel hanging from here um, from the center point, but I don't have any of that. And I was just like, I've, that's why I use sparkle yarn, because I knew I didn't have a jewel for the center, but I wanted that sparkle. So there's that finished, and then what I'm wearing, oh, 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 ta-da, is my Hooked on Homemade Happiness button-down tank. Now her straps, she's got two here, two here. Ah, uh, I should have made a smaller size. Because it's kind of like a little, but I wear, my bra is like, you know, the halter top, so I did in the halter top. But here, it is. Isn't that pretty? Da, 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 da. <laughs> and I used the buttons that I got from Michaels that had those little flowers on it, and I just flipped them around. Let's see if I can see. Super simple, super easy to do. And I think my mom did some kind of like bow. Yeah, she did a bow action in the back. Sorry, you can like see my bra there. You don't need to see that. All right. 
They cover it up now. Yeah. And see, and she did like bow action in the back for me. So I could wear it. And now this is supposed to be like an extra large. And like I told you when I first did it, it went around me twice. So I had to take out several rows. And the length is like, I could wear this as a dress if I put a few more buttons, but I just put like some shorts on underneath and it's going to rock as a tank top. Those are my finished objects. So we've gone over whips, FO. So uh, what's on my hook, off my hook, and now what's waiting to jump on my hook. So we are going to start, oh, excuse me, with the yarn I got from Premiere that I was talking about earlier in my unboxing. It came, yay! This bag is jacked up. Anyway, the pattern I'm going to do, and this is what I mean, Bag O'Day Crochet, Bag o Day Crochet kick I've been on, is it is her Crochet Boho Caramel Macchiato Hooded Ladies, sorry. It's a paid pattern, I paid for the pattern. <laughs> so I'm like trying not to show the pattern, but it's a free tutorial on her YouTube channel, which I will link down below. But there it is, and her colors, and she loves brown. Big old baby blues. See? So I got, Premier was having this, I think they were three for five or something like that. Um, they're, um, they're three for three. It was, some, it was some ridiculous price on their yarn and it was free shipping. This is my first order from Premier Yarns, actually. I've never ordered from Premier before. I've used the yarn, but I've never ordered from Premier. So the color I got was the Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling. And the color I got is Blue Heather. Now look, I'm going to look right at the camera and I'm going to hold this right up to the camera. Are you seeing how cute that's going to be? Bling bling. <laughs> it's going to show off my eyes. So I got three, six, nine, because it came in three packs. And yeah, my invoice isn't in here or nothing. Um, I did open it because I didn't want you to hear the ripping sound. But I got nine of those, and let's read a little bit about it. There is 180 yards. And now, this pattern calls for 1,600 yards with tassels. Without the tassel, 1,450. So I got plenty enough. Did you want to say hi? Because you're just loitering right there. Here's my Bubba as he wanted to come in and say hi. See how hot hey. it is here? He is pink cheeked, and we are in the air conditioning. Hey. This is my this is my love. This is my mini me. Hey. See my mini me. Okay, go on. I'll be done in just a minute. Okay. I'm on my last part. Uh, okay. You'll, you'll see him walking back by and Cookie Monster there. Go on, Aiden. Stop, please. Yes, go. Thank you. Yes. Um, anyway. He's bribing me because I'm on the YouTube channel right now. Anyway, so let's read a little bit about this yarn. I got nine balls. So uh, it's 180 yards or 165 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams. It is 100% anti-peeling acrylic, medium weight four, five millimeter or US8 knitting needles, uh, 5.5 or US I9 crochet hook. And that's kind of, it's odd, but not odd because I've seen it like once or twice more, but usually it's the same knitting needle as it is for crochet hook, but it's not right now. It says machine wash warm, tumble dry normal. And it says you can find free patterns. Um, it says made in Turkey. The color is blue heather. And then I don't care about lots, but other people do. So I'm going to look and see if I got the same lot on these. This one right here is 11180. 11180. Uh, I'm just doing this real quick. You guys don't hear me. It keeps hearing me say 11180, 11180, because that, that would drive me nuts. And this last sack. Pack, whatever. Yeah, they gave me all the same lot number, 11180. So I guess that's cool. I, I don't care about lots. If you saw my video earlier, wild and free. I let the yarn do what it wants to do. <laughs> so I have enough to do this because it's it's um, asking for, it says Red Heart Super Saver and Stripes, um, which is a four, and I got the Blue Heather because I could not find this caramel macchiato. And hello, blue. <laughs> So that is what's waiting to jump on my hook. Now besides that, which I've got the yarn for, um, I'm getting ready to decorate for Halloween. So I have lots of patterns going on right now um, that I'm going to be doing. And actually I'm going to put this pattern into the Premiere bag because as soon as I open up one of my yarn bags here that I can start working on that, then I'll be good. Um, let's see here. Oh, I put that with that. Sorry, 
trying to clean up here. Okay, so a couple other things that are waiting to jump on my hook is I have got a spiderweb table topper. Three patterns on your aspiration, guys. And it didn't print in color for some reason. I don't know why. Then I got the spider web table mat, which I can put up on our counter. We have a little bar counter right here um, that my son eats at, which would be perfect for this. This can go on our big main table in the living room. And then I'm gonna do this garland. And uh, this garland right here. And this one printed in color. What is that? See, it's got a little zombie with the eye hanging out. I think that's cool. And then it's got a pumpkin and a bat. And I'm thinking I could do just a plain skull over here. You know, because it's like a skull pattern with an eye hanging out to be a zombie. And I'm also going to make uh, matching coasters using this exact same pattern. Instead of eye hanging up like a garland, I'm going to use it as coasters around the house. So there are other things, and I, I wasn't able to print them out, but I've got this. See, it's got my, oh, that tank top, if you're wondering, it's the Easy Crochet Summer Tank Top, is Bag O'Day Crochet number 716. Right there. <laughs> and this is my waiting to jump on my hook uh, crochet stack in here. So I'm going to put these in here so I know where they're at. And those are patterns that are waiting to jump on my hook. So you guys have been with me for like 41 minutes. Uh, let's try not to make this 42. This is the longest video I think I've done. Um, but that's what's on my hook, off my hook, and you see what's waiting to jump on it. So everybody, thank you for joining me. Thank you for lasting this long if you made it to the end. Um, don't forget about the two giveaways that I have going on right now. The one for the Christmas and July fairies, which you need to comment on that video. And then my thank you subbies video that you need to comment on the thank you subbies video. Anyway, uh, until I talk to you guys again in the next video, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. Bye.